On this edition of Burger Brothers, we are in Sepulpa. The name of the restaurant is Burgers and More. And you know much, what they have? Much, much more. Much, much more. And they got burgers and more. <laughs> burgers and more. Let's go get some burgers and, and a whole lot more. I get for you guys. This is gonna be for here. We're gonna yes. eat here. All right. We have great burgers. Cool we have first. fresh cut fries. All right. I'm gonna get a jumbo cheeseburger with fried onions. Okay. Wow. Do you and want fries mm -hmm. and maybe some corn nuggets? Okay. A small fry and a corn nugget. What about uh, on your burger? Do you want mustard, pickle, raw onions, Nothing. lettuce, and tomato? Just meat. Just meat, cheese. Onion. I can do that. Got it. <laughs> nice. Are the patties thick? Or are they no, they're a thinner perfect. patty. We can double meat anything. I'm gonna double. I'm gonna get a double meat uh, cheeseburger. Uh huh. With what comes on that? Mustard, pickle, onion, lettuce, and tomato. No lettuce, no tomato, please. Mustard, pickle. Everything else is perfect. Raw onions. Okay. Yep. Can I get the onions grilled? Sure. And then can I get the onion rings as well? Yep. And I'm thinking a root beer if you have it. Do you want a frosted mug? Yes. Yes, perfect. that's good. And I'll, I'll take be back. Root beer too. No, hey, don't copy me. <laughs> do make uh, my fries fresh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of them down because that's good stuff. Oh, the smell of the bacon. Just, mm. You just like the bacon smell, and and my tea. I always uh, here's an order. That, that's a good order of fries right there, because I'm going to make a little bit bigger one, because everybody's going to want some. You hand make these fries. I do. I do. I start from the potato, and I make them in-house Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's processed. We all pitch in and do potatoes. You, know? you literally have, like, boxes yeah. of potatoes. Yes. Yep. I get about 700 pounds a week. Wow. And wow. make fries. And so you're known for your potatoes as well? And yeah. your, your yeah. fries is also... I always thought that people come here for the fries, but they eat the burgers, you know, oh. and I try to keep... I, the burgers are fresh. My meat's never frozen. Yeah. And so I I process everything here. I cut the onions. I slice the tomatoes, except lettuce, and be, only because the companies that do lettuce can do it just as good as I can. So I let them do it, you know. So let's see. we got corn nuggets. Yeah, that ain't even heard of corn nuggets. Oh, yeah, you have to run. Always fun to uh, be obscure, perhaps you observe. Here's some corn nuggets. And then, what else was on there? Well, have you ever had corn we nuggets? Check that ticket. Corn nuggets. Onion rings. It's been a long time, but they are, they are delicious. All right. There's some meat. Nice, nice. There's a package of meat, and we're gonna do a jumbo with fried too. We're gonna do with some fried onions right here. Good, good. All right. Let's say we're gonna do some grilled onions. <laughs> that fried onions was a little Oklahoma. I should have put some gloves on. I did wash my hands. All right, we're gonna scoop this bacon right here over. That was a lot of yeah, this I hope it's enough for the day. I kind of get that seasoning on that grill, and we're good. How long have you been open? Uh, gosh, I've been here 31 years, and I think it might have been open a couple of years. I think it opened in 86. I didn't start here until 88, and then I was able to purchase it in 94. And the rest is history. And it's always been it's always been about the burgers. Yes. Yeah, it always has been. You know, I just come in here and I, you know, I love working with these kids. The kids I work with, I like being the mentor and, uh, you know, tell them, you know, let's let's do this. Let's come to work every day and pay our bills and get cars and you know stuff like that. I, I do like helping my kids out. You know, nice. are you here. hiring? Because we could use some new cars as well. I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you might not get a new one, but you'll get one yeah, that goes. That's right. Yeah. Just <laughs> so. I do, I do enjoy coming to work every day. That's a fact. There, we're gonna put that bread on there. And now, gotta get that crisp edge on there. Yeah, That's a it. little That's bit. Now you only got a single on? I only got a single. Oh, shame, shame, yeah, shame. I tell you. 
want to try to cut back. Everything is, is as fresh as I can get it. That's my, you know, that is my goal. Um, I have, have the burgers. Have the burgers stayed the same during that whole time? I mean, have you kept them. I have, you know, I, I Tulsa beef, you know, is important, and um, it's just. I don't know if I've ever changed the burgers because I have the jumbo and we can double meat anything. I also have a regular burger that's a smaller burger. Um, one of my one of my goals is one of my passions is I like to feed my elderly that come in and I like to them. Most of them want a burger and a drink or a burger fry and a water. And so I try to keep them under five dollars, right at five dollars. My smaller burgers are really cheaper than anything else, and uh, because that's, you know, I, they like to, for it to come in and we can say, you know, hi Dean, you know, hi Bob, you know, they, they like that, so. And I want to feed them, I want to be there for them, so that they'll have some place to go and hang out. And have you always done fries this way? Yes, I always have, yeah. So that's like a weekly process for Next. Forever. Yeah, it is. You know, it's okay. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and and that's something I do participate in because. Um, what do you think? Cars grow on trees, Mom? Yeah, you gotta I mean, do this. You know. The secret to the success. The cars. Yeah. No, I don't buy on the cars. I make them work. No, <laughs> I always try to get, you know, the kids, if they're buying, if they're having to pay for a car, that keeps a lot of them out of trouble. There it is. Yeah, it does, so. All right, let's see. What else are we going to cook? We're going to cook some onion rings. Onion rings. Does anybody like okra? Ron loves okra. We love okra. We love okra. <laughs> you love okra. I do not love okra. You do? I love like anything fried. You could fry Ron's boots, and they might taste good. But in particular, okra is an acquired taste, and I have yet to acquire it. <laughs> I if know. It's, if it's, you know, if it's done the right way, it's, it's yes. the best thing on the planet. No, maybe. <laughs> bacon is the best thing on the planet. Well, yeah. shame on you. Why don't we fry bacon? Why you guys like this bacon? Yeah. yeah. Say it, maybe. Is that a thing? Can it be fried? What, what would bacon taste like if you put it in a deep fryer? Bacon. <laughs> really? Yeah. Same? Does it put a... Does it put a it just gets so tasty. like a batter on it. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like the chocolate bacon. That was yeah. pretty good. That's, that's pretty right. good. We're so you make your own tea? Yes, Lipton. Like, uh, do, you, do you do like a sweet tea? A regular and a sweet, regular tea. sweet tea. Yeah. Yeah, we got we have good tea. A lot of people come here for the tea, but sometimes I've seen restaurants pour tea out of a bag, and yeah. it's really tough. Yeah. That, you know? But, ah, here you go. All right, let's see how these fries are going. They look pretty good. You want your fry when it comes up, you want it to crisp like a Frito. Yeah, just about. You guys, it's root beer. Ooh, look out Frosty mm -hmm. All right, thank you. IBC root beer. The best. And here is a plethora of Ooh. our. There's a double me. And there you go. Fantastic. All right, and we've got these are jalapeno cheese cubes, corn nuggets, fried mushroom, okra, Look out. fries, Ooh, onion wow. rings. And it, I know you're not going to eat it all, but you can try a little bit. Fantastic. Here is some homemade ranch. All right, now are you going to join us? or? I will, yeah. What are you eating? And there's some, oh gosh, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Ooh, very good. Good. I'm glad you like them. This we, is the part of the episode where it gets really quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's eating. That's all right. I like it when the dining room's quiet. That means everybody's eating. Like I, uh, I don't know. I probably seat maybe 80 people, and sometimes we get really busy. In um, 80, probably in about 90, 91, where these plants are, were those windows. And so we built a addition 
Corn nugget. Yep. Try corn nugget then. Corn nugget, dip it in ranch. Get it. My favorite is the onion rings and ranch. Partake. Yeah, Just, I don't want to double dip. I would. Are these mushrooms? Yes. So those are legal now in Colorado, I hear. I know. <laughs> yeah. Corn nuggets and okra. I'm going to do the and omega bowl and try some This okra. is a jalapeno and cheese bowl. And if, if you want to poke those with your toothpick, and there you go. Toothpick, smooth pick. Mm. These are all right. Mm, those are actually good. Those are actually good. <laughs> no, anything with jalapeno comes with a question mark for me. Yeah. All jalapenos have a different, for me, the spectrum goes from scale, like zero yeah. to like 150. Uh, yeah. It's real subtle. Yeah. So it's I never perfect. want to say no if I haven't tried it. Yeah. But these are actually something That's I would have. I would mm -hmm. good policy. on my own. Uh, yeah. Here. yeah, they're just not too hot, but they've got a little bit of cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a nice mm -hmm. kick. Perfect. What is it about Tulsa and the Tulsa area and all of the awesome mom and pop old school burger places? You know, I think it's the people. I think it's the customers that make us hang in there. Um, I I call. You know, I had a conversation with a chef not too long ago and I told him I said you know I don't call myself a chef I said I'm a cook I said I'm a burger cook and uh, he's and I told him I said I've been in business you know for the 31 years I've been here and he said he does not know a chef that has enough discipline to be in business for 31 years so you know it's being able to come out and sit down and you know talk to the people about you know this was a two-story house that the top story burned well they they this this, this lot, yeah, oh, wow. and so you know they tore it down and built the restaurant, and uh, you know I have I have people bring me pictures of the house, you know I, I know exactly what the house. And one lady, I just loved her. I haven't seen her in a while. She was el very elderly. She lived in the in the apartment that they had made out of the bottom floor before they actually tore it down. And it's just, it's the people. It's definitely is what it is, and. You know, we, we just have people that'll come back. I have people that come in every day. And I have a, a, a family that there's probably eight or nine of them. The, the mocks, the mouth, I think is what you pronounce it. They come in and now, you know, it's like the three sisters, but when everybody comes back to town, you know, everybody comes in here to eat, you know. One of the ladies is 99 and she comes in and wow. so, and I, I thought Burger King would beat me. I really did and I wouldn't have my kids, but I have my kids that come in, you know, weekly, you know, we know their name, and so. Well, he asked the question, what makes this, the hamburger thing be a thing? Because we noticed that. <clears throat> I go all around the planet, and there's not a, there's nowhere near as many successful mom and pop hamburger joints in the Tulsa and surrounding area than mm -hmm. I've ever seen in my life, and mm -hmm. they all have the same thing going for it, it's the, pride of ownership, the love, and you said it's the people. Mm -hmm. But when I hear you talk about fries, you're the people. You're the reason, because I, I can't imagine, you said Burger King, I can't imagine anybody, including the CEO, could tell you anything about how long to store a potato, oh, where yeah. they come from, what makes them special, being disappointed if they're not handled throughout that process correctly. Mm -hmm. That in that tells me everything I need to know about you and this place and why it's successful because you care about the process you said about the cheese and if it gets to a certain point yeah. I don't know that there's oversight on any in most businesses in that way mm -hmm. and so it's really love the love that you put into it is what people like when they come here they feel that even if yeah. they're not even thinking that they just want a quick burger it's comfort food it's a, right. it's a it's a recognizable face and it's a local business but what they're really getting is all of that that you just described put into it well, in the form yeah. of fry, burger, cheese, yeah. corn, and that's what's the missing ingredient to a lot of other businesses and yeah. places that it doesn't have that type of, that's passion. Yeah. I mean, you really you. care about to I do. normal people who have fries. Who cares? Just yeah. get some potatoes, <laughs> yeah. cut them, and throw them in the fryer yeah. and get them out of here. Yeah, it, it's not like that. <laughs> I know. But thank and you. And you I, can taste that, and that's fantastic. That. I mean, it, it, I think that energy is what it is, really. Yeah, because I, uh, I have 
I have been in tears, and I, I, if, if people don't see me here, it's usually because I'm cooking, because I feel like I do the most good in the kitchen, you know, in this, like, keeping everybody, when it, we get crazy busy, it's like, come on, you know, just keep up, you know, we, we, we're all behind, you know, we're all behind at the same rate, so it's like, just keep it up, because we do sometimes have a 30 minute wait, and I, and so people, people like the food when they're willing to wait that one. All right. Like, oh, wow. You know, since you obviously out. don't know how to I do not. pour a beer. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. I don't, know how to pour, I don't know how to pour beer, beer but I can pour it right there. There you go. I've been sober over 14 years, so I take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Proof positive. Yeah, there you <laughs> it's been go. a while. Where'd you go when you were a kid? Where'd you go to get a burger? You know, we were a lot of burger people, you know. I can remember, you know, <clears throat> we would all get together, and it was a lot of burger right down there in Charles Page. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. where, that's where we were. Ninety five, a lot of burger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? so that was my hood. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I went to school there. I did. I never went to Central High School. I we, my parents moved to Sand Springs, and I went to Sand Springs, and then you know I came over here. Michael was two whenever I came over here, and he's thirty two now. Wow. I guess we'll be all be. I, left. I, I cannot. I am good to go. The second root beer put me over the top. Breakfast and burgers are, are, are a, a funny combination. Yeah. It's, a, it's a wonderful combination, but then the man's got to know his limits wrong. Maybe like, maybe like a cup this size of the malt. Yeah, the I can do oh, it. Right. Sure. That? Yeah. that way we get to. Because we, we talked about it, we were going to try to sample it. We're going to need a. That's going to be it. We're going to need a flatbed truck with a, with a futon uh, so that we can take it tow us home. Strawberry, vanilla, pineapple. I'm gonna say chocolate, chocolate malt. Chocolate malt, Fantastic. got it. And a knitting needle so I can pop myself. If they don't want very much, so this cup isn't gonna be full, but I am gonna use Hershey syrup, put some chocolate in there. And then we're gonna use some malt, the malted milk. That's what's inside a malted milk ball. It's good with vanilla and chocolate. After that, it gets kind of weird. And then we got some milk right here. This is just some malt milk. It's kind of thin. And then we take the blender and we mix it up. We want to feather that blender. It's like a chocolate malt. All right, cocktail. there it is. Right Look there. at mine. That's not very much, and I don't have the knitting needle, so. Cheers. There you fingers. go. All right. That's mm. great. Oh. Ah, delicious. I hand mixed it. The malt is the real, real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I was telling him, malt goes well in vanilla and chocolate. Okay. After that, it's good. It's got the little straw. And I'll tell you I, what. I, I, you the, uh, I'm gonna. I, I agree because I've only tried vanilla and chocolate. When, when it's it's so good, why go anywhere else? For, yeah. I, I'm yeah, not interested in the, the funny flavors. But. Yeah, I'm a strawberry. I'm a strawberry shake fan. Yeah, I'll take so it. So no malt. Yeah. Funny because the first. The first malts we had on the show were actually at Lotta Burger. Oh, yeah. Because they have real that location. Malt. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of yeah. places don't. So. Oh, this has been fantastic. Well, awesome. good. I appreciate really it. Great to meet I really you do. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.